Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be here with you again to share with you a word from the, from the Word of God. And it's a good word, a word that I believe will bless your heart and help you. I want to speak to you on the fact that we can be saved and satisfied. And I hope and pray that you are saved and satisfied. This is my prayer for you. We're saved from, by the grace of God. We're saved from a devil's hell. We're saved from sin, the power of sin, the power of Satan. And the Lord takes us out of the dungeon and he sets us free when we believe in him. I want you to believe in Jesus as the Lord of your life. He's the one that can deliver you. He can save you and satisfy you. I want you to pray and ask God to forgive you in Jesus' name and he'll do it. Pray a prayer like this if you have a really made it right and if you're not sure that you're going to heaven. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that, and you will learn and know, praise God, that you're saved and satisfied. The Bible says you're forgiven of every sin when you believe in Jesus, and that you have a door wide open for you in heaven. Amen. The Bible says over in Psalms 116, something here of how we can know we're saved and satisfied. And it says, God is, is merciful and righteous. Ye, our God is good. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low, and he saved me. Ye, return unto your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. And the psalmist just said, I was brought low, and he saved me. And then he said, Oh, the Lord is merciful and good and kind. I've asked him, and he's saved me. He's come into my life. He's given me a new spirit. He's given you a new spirit if you're a Christian. And you're born again and you belong to God and you're one of His. And therefore, you can say, Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with you. Oh, we're saved and satisfied. Over in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, verse 20, Give thanks always for all things that God shall, the Father, in the, or rather, unto God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so when you pray, we need to pray in the name of Jesus. And He hears us and He loves us and He's with us always. <clears throat> now we need to thank God for all things. This is difficult. It's difficult to thank Him for all things. I've had some things in my life that has broken my heart. And I've had a difficult time of thanking God for them, but I have managed through the years to do just that as best I can. I thank God for all things. Things that break my heart, I thank Him because there's a purpose in it. God has allowed it to happen for a reason. And so, my dear friend, whatever you're facing right now, know that God's facing it with you. He cares for you. He's allowed this thing to happen so that you'll become more and more dependent on Him. And He can come more and more into your life and you become a better Christian. God bless you and God help you to know that this is the way that we live for God. We live for Him. And we we'll allow these things to happen so that we'll, we'll, we'll be stronger. He said that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. He said that in the first Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, when he was talking, second Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, when he was talking to Paul the Apostle. Paul was crying out, Lord, deliver me from this terrible thorn in the flesh I'm facing. We don't know what that was, but it was a terrible thing that he was going through. And the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for you. I'm going to leave the thorn, but my grace is going to give you power to go through it. And then he said, My strength is made perfect in weakness. He meant by that that his strength is made perfect in the fact that we are weak and our weaknesses, even our mistakes and our failures, we bring them to him and he turns them around and we become strong in him. A good example of, of the fact that his strength made perfect in our weakness is, a, is the pastor of the First Baptist Church in Euless, Texas. Euless, Texas. And it's a, it's a great church. 
They have three services, several thousand people in every service. Oh, it's a great church, doing a great job for God. Their pastor named John Meadows is a, a man that is leading in all of those services, and he's pastor, senior pastor of that church, one of the greatest churches in the country. And Brother John Meadows is stone deaf. He cannot hear. He reads lips. Oh, praise God. He said, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. There's a man who's turned it all over to God. Cannot hear, but he's listened to God in his heart. And he preaches, and he prays God the Lord's blessing. Whatever your affliction, whatever your trial or trouble, my dear friend, turn it over to the Lord, and he'll do it. He'll fix it, and you'll become strong in the Lord. Strong in the Lord to do the work of God. Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. He loves you, and I love you. And may the Lord bless you. And remember that through Jesus Christ, we can be saved and satisfied. Amen.